would be a morning without a barista session. Ow! What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We have just woken up in paradise right here and we have got one hell of a mission ahead of us today. It is barista session time. You can't start your day without a little bit of a coffee. There we go, that thing just started up first pop. All right, today's gonna be insane. What we're doing is we're exploring a brand new mangrove system. We're up the top end of Australia right now. There are crocodiles out here. It's gonna be hectic, but this mangrove system that I found on the map is extremely hard to get to. It almost looks like you can't really get to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the troopy, we're gonna have a coffee, jump in the troopy, see if we can get to this mangrove system, and then from there on in, we're on foot. We're just gonna be walking through these mangroves, chasing monster, monster mud crabs. That's the plan. Anything could happen out here. Usually, everything you plan never goes to plan. So today's gonna be exciting. Strap yourselves in. Let's make a coffee and get this one underway. Look at that. That good's coffee, eh? Life without coffee would just be so bloody boring. This is where we slept last night in the troopy. Woke up to these epic, epic views of this croc infested river. Man, today's gonna be sick. Let's go get some solid crabs. You ready? Yep. Let's, let's do it. Go. Oh. <laughs> And this is the reason why we do it. The feeling of the unknown. Right now we're on this tiny little goat track. We have no idea where this little track is taking us right now. There really isn't too much of a better feeling. Taking these tiny little goat tracks in the middle of nowhere to a little bit of a mangrove system, there should be some solid crabs here. Like we are completely off grid right now. Usually if you're off grid like this, it means big untouched big bucks out there. So hopefully that's what we're gonna get today. Big crab, cook them around the fire later on. Now this is sick, look at this. You can't beat this, eh? Woohoo! There are two very interesting things that I wanna show you guys right here on this track right now. Down here, we've got a big, this is just like a pond of water where the tide comes up, it fills up. Then it, the, when the tide drains out on like king tides, this is what you're left with. You're left with a pool of water. Right now there is about, 50 to 80 mullet trapped in this pond right here. Look at them all. That's crazy, man. Unfortunately, what's probably gonna happen to these fish is that pond's just gonna dry up, that warp water will evaporate, and those poor little fish are gonna get smashed by eagles and birds and all the other things that are gonna come and eat them. And we are a long way off having another tide which is gonna fill that up with water. There is no rain forecast anymore. We're coming into summer, so that's probably gonna dry up and those fish are gonna be enjoyed by a couple of birds, lizards, snakes, everything like that. Just behind Mac 10, the camera girl over here, is some real good bush food. Check this out. Now this is a very handy hint to know if you're ever stuck out in the bush. These little flowers that you can see here, see that there? That's called a beach bean. So you've got these two big beautiful beans here. That's what the flower looks like there. And um, this is a completely edible food. They're actually just like a bean that you buy in the supermarket. There is no shortage of it out here. It's just growing along the side of this track. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of beans on this little tree right now, or on this little creeper. But what you can do with these beans is, it just looks like a bean you buy in the supermarket. If you eat it when it's raw, you're gonna get extremely sick. You're gonna get stomach aches. But what you can do is you can roast it on a fire. That's like the juvenile bean, it's still thin. So these ones are the ones you wanna eat. You can boil it up in water, you can roast it on a fire, makes real good food. And then the bigger beans, when they start getting a little bit rounder, inside of them they have like a white little seed and you can pop the seed open, you can roast them on a fire, you can eat them. Also what people do with these leaves, is these leaves, they smoke these leaves and it's like a, um, it's like a relaxing remedy kind of thing. So it's a bloody useful plant to know. It's called a beech bean and they just grow all over this area. If you're ever stuck out here, you need food. Look at the size of that one. That's a big bean right there. There is no shortage of food right here. We've got mullet out the back there. They're not hard to catch. Beach beans here. How good. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for a monster crab. That's what we're going to get. Ow! Oh, it got a fish. It actually just caught one. Get out of here, you bastard. These poor little mullet have absolutely no chance. We're just about to take off, start driving towards that mangrove system. A seagull flew in, dove bomb on those fish that are stuck in that pond down there. 
now the seagull is just having a feed of its life. Like those fish can't go anywhere. That seagulls know. That seagull knows exactly what's going on. Look at him. Oh, he's got a fish. He's got another one. You're. Let's see that. You're joking. Those fish have got no chance, man. It's a cruel, cruel world out here. But that's just the nature's course. It's just the way it works. That seagull will probably sit there and pick every one of those fish off. It's going to take a while, but he will. Look at him go. Alright. We are about to go to war on a couple of monster mud crabs. We're basically set up for war. We've got zinc on our nose, covered in bug spray, long sleeve shirts. We've got jeans, shoes. We're going to be walking straight into that big juicy mangrove system behind me there. Like I said before, it doesn't really get touched by humans out here. so. That's just going to be real rough out there. There's going to be spiders, sandflies, march flies, possible crocodile, probably a snake. Who knows what's going to happen. But usually first things we do is we take a little bit of water. So we have these camel packs in our backpacks. We're just going to fill this thing up to the brim because I mean hydration. Hydration is a thing out here. you got to stay hydrated. So we'll just fill that up with water. Once this thing fills up with water, we're on. We're going to go get ourselves some monster crabs. Look at this. That is just untouched mangroves in the background there. This is going to be one hell of a day. We have got endless amounts of mangroves here to explore. We are just about to head into the mangroves right now. Look how good it looks. It's just, there is not another human's footprint. There's nothing out here. Super remote, very, very fun. Look at this. Mac 10. Mac 10, look at this. This is not a joke, doggies. I've been here for no longer than three seconds. Have a look at this. Check this out. You've got to be kidding. This is fair dinkum. We're literally 10 meters, 20 meters away from the car, and that is a monster mud crab hole. It would be rude not to stick this hook in and have a look. Look at the size of it. All right, it looks like a good crab. I'm going to go in with my hand, see if we can pull this thing out of the hole straight off of the bat. I can just see the back of its shell. Its claw is facing me right now. So see if I can run my hand down the side of the hole and pull him out. Ready? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. That was very close. All right, that was a very close call just there. And this crab's playing the smart game. I'm gonna have to. Here we go. Here he comes. Here we go, Mac Ten. Check this out. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, hey! Look at this. That is a mud crab straight off the bat. This is like, I'm not even joking. We're five or six minutes, not even five minutes into this mission. That is a big crab. He's covered in slop, covered in mud. I'll give him a little bit of a clean up and I'll show you that crab. First crab of the day, hand in the hole. Good crab, good crab. Not even joking, man. This is first crab of the day. Car's right there. Do the miles, get the smiles. Let's go clean this crab. I'll give you a look. Ow! That is a beautiful crab. Look at the size of him. He's not a monster. Once we wash that mud off him a little bit, he's sort of shrunk a bit, <laughs> but he's a real good crab. The troopy is right there in the background. We've just pulled a crab out of this hole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this fella go. He's a nice crab, he'd be a good feed, but I reckon that we're gonna get a couple more crabs out here. So we're gonna put this guy back. That's good though. First crab of the day coming out of a hole by the hand. Good crab, good crab. All right, I'm gonna get him back in his hole. Troopies, I can't believe the troopies right there, right? Eh? All right, first crab of the day, you're going back, mate. Go on, buddy. That's a big hole. What a way to start the day. One crab on the deck. He's gone back into his little hole there. One thing that we've got to be super vigilant about is crocodiles. It's actually a real thing out here. We're up, we're up, we're further up north again. There's creeks in the background here. This is a little feeder creek to a main creek. And um, on the map, it looks like this is the, one of the many feeder creeks. Possible, of, there are possibilities of crocodiles. So we've just got to stay super vigilant. We should be all right, but that's probably one of the reasons there's so many crabs around here is because we are off grid right now. It's sick, man. Possible crocodiles, big crabs. 
life doesn't get much better. We're gonna start punching up the side of the bank here, see if we can find that monster crab we've come after. Only a short walk from that last hole where we pulled a crab out and have a look at this thing. This is another ginormous hole. That is a big hole. Like, when you're talking mud crab holes, that's a proper hole. It's deep too. It's gonna have to be a goliath in here. Big monster crab. Get that stick out of it. This, here we go. Yeah, baby. Look at that thing. Here's another good crab. What is that noise? I'm on, I'm on croc watch, eh? That's another good crab. Come out of that massive hole. All right, he's a good crab. This one is actually gonna get turned into lunch. We'll keep this one. He's a little bit bigger than that last one, covered in mud. We're gonna chuck him in my backpack, wrap it up in a cool, wet towel. He'll be able to stay fresh in, in my backpack. It's quite, quite warm out here, but when you wrap him up in a damp towel, he'll be right like that. So we'll wrap him up, we'll keep pushing, see if we can get a couple more for lunch, but that's a good start, man. He's a beautiful crab. Come out of that monstrous hole. All right, let's get him in here. Let's keep punching on. Oh, there he is there, look, there he is there. Just gotta walk him, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, here we go. Here we go, that worked, actually, easy. Just give me that one claw. Oh, come on, big boy. I'm gonna bring you out as one. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that, look at that thing. That is another big, sloppy crab. How are these things just covered in mud? But that's another really good crab. Here's a beautiful one. These things are coming out of soup bowls. Like that is a good crab, covered in mud though. He's gonna be lovely chewing. Here's another, another size crab. Look at that thing. We can't even go down to the creek and wash them off because we're on fully blown croc wash right now. Another good crab in the bag. We're gonna put him in the bag. We're gonna try to get three or four crabs for lunch today. That's number two. We're doing good, Mac 10. We are doing good. He is dirty, look at him. My mouth is legitimately drooling right now. We are gonna make one of the best recipes out here in the bush. So hang around for the cook up doggies, it's gonna be bloody good. But one of the best things about these crabs are, these crabs, they're not giant, giant crabs. They're, they're big crabs, but they're not the big bucks. The good thing about this is that the big bucks are actually the ones that walk around, they impregnate all the females. So we're sort of like just keeping the right size crab. The big ones are those big breeders, these little inside medium ones that we're getting now are really good eating size crabs. So we've got two, see if we can get one or two more. That's more than enough for us. We're gonna make a real, really bloody good cook up later on around the fire. I'm super excited for that. Oh, this is a ginormous crab hole. Look at this, right? This crab hook goes all the way back there. Right, that means that this hole is this long. That hole goes all the way down there. Good luck getting your arm down there. That's a big hole. He deserves to have that hole. That's massive. We'll leave that one alone. Keep pushing on, see if we can find some more. Big hole. Here we go, here we go. Boom, 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 shaka laka. Look at this. He's coming, he's coming, come here. <laughs> he's angry. You wouldn't want to put your hand in this hole. He's not happy. Here he comes, look at this. He's coming. That's a good crab. That's a real good eating size. Hey, where are you going? Oi, oi. Come here, come here, come here. Oi. Not a good place for my fingers to be. Oh, come on, mate. Here we go, he's a ripper. He is a ripper of a crab, look at that. Another big muddy, sloppy crab. 
Oh my God, my mouth is, is watering right now. We're gonna be making a very good feed. Look at this, big muddy claws. All these crabs are living in super sloppy, muddy holes, which is pretty interesting. The entrance of this crab, actually, the entrance of this hole actually had an old, an old crab shell at the front of it. So that's what they usually do. They have a feed on the smaller females or the smaller crabs, but look at the claws on him. He's gonna be a good feed. Yes, Mac 10. We're getting quite the feed put together. We haven't been out here for too long either. Look at that. If you were walking around in the concrete jungle right now or the city, you'd probably be picking up lolly packets off the ground. Well, that out here is a lolly wrapper. Inside there is usually what we call the lollipop. That's what we're gonna be eating later on. Bust that claw off, rip that big bit of juicy meat out. I can taste it. I'm waiting for it. There's a couple of crabs around here. There's two big holes. Have a look at this, check this out. One monstrous hole down here. Look at that thing. And then, and then, don't stop the party there. Check this out. Boom. That is another massive, Crab hole, that's like a wombat hole, man. All right, which one are we doing first? That way or that way, Mac-10? This one. Right out. <laughs> there is a crab in this hole. It is ridiculously deep, but... Is he coming up? No. There's a crab in there, but it's about the stick and my arm length deep. So that's about, what's that, nearly three meters deep? There's a crab in there, but that crab, he deserves to live another day. He is way under the earth. We'll go check the hole up here. Now that is a deep hole, eh? Let's have a look at this one. This is also a massive hole. Believe it or not, that hole is empty. It's not even deep. It's a big hole, but it's not deep at all. All right, let's keep pushing. We just need to get one more crab. Come on. Start of the morning, blitzing. We're on fire this morning, crab after crab. Now we're struggling. Let's go. All right, doggies. The time has come. This is our last crab we need to get for the day. There's a big crab hole here. I don't want to put my back to the water too much here because like I said, there are crocodiles around here. It's stupid to be putting my back to the water. But if you guys, you're not going to be able to see this, but there's a crab. Seriously, it's just submerged under this water line here. He's just sitting at the back of this hole here. And I reckon I could just dive in with my hand and pick him up straight off the bat. So I'll see if I can do that without using the hook. He's only just sitting behind that root there. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this crab out. He's about that, he's about, his shell's about that far under the water. I should just be able to get my hand under him, flick him up and grab him out. Here we go. Coming out. Yeah, doggy. That was easy. That was too good. He was just sitting. Look at that. That is the last crab that we needed to catch. Here's another good one. Not a monster, but a very good eating size crab. They're all about the same size around here. I want to get myself away from this water's edge, but that was super simple. He was just sort of buried in the mud. I just tapped him on the back when we got here and his claws come up like that, went back down. Easy catch. Here's a good one. He's going to be real good around the fire. That's two crabs each, four crabs in total. We're done. We don't need any more. Let's go start a fire cook up one mouth-watering feed. What we're gonna cook is gonna make you drool. Get your bibs out, doggies, this is gonna be good. Ow! This should be enough wood to get a fire started. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook up these beautiful crabs which we got. There's a whole lot of driftwood along this little bank here. We're just gonna run around, collect a heap of driftwood. Then we're gonna chuck it up on that bank there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a big fire up here on the bank. We're gonna cook these crabs. We're gonna make the famous field day dipping sauce. We're gonna dip those big crab lollipops in. <laughs> it is gonna be so good. First things first, we gotta get a big fire going. Big bed of coals. You guys know the deal. Let's start a fire.
tell you what, this little shovel is not designed to dig through rock hard clay, but it is getting the job done. What I want to do is start a little bit of a, or make a little bit of a fire pit here, because the way that we're going to cook these crabs is we're going to boil them in, in water. And if I just put the fire straight on the deck here, it's quite windy right now, and that wind is just going to come across. It's just going to make a mess. It's going to carry coals down there. It's just not a good time. So if you make a little fire pit like this, one, it's a lot safer for the fire. Number two, what's going to happen is it's going to generate the heat under the fire. Down here, there's absolutely no wind. Up here, it's blowing its little titties off. So we'll keep that fire down here. It's going to generate heat under the pot. The water's going to boil a lot quicker. It's going to make this beautiful little fire pit. In here somewhere, we've got some old busted ass tent pegs. We need three or four. We we'll use three. Come on, you big girl. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. That's a goer. She's a goer. Beautiful. Right, it is time to put the water on the fire. Those 10 pegs are positioned perfectly there. That's gonna sit there up off of the, off of the um, flame. This frying pan, it's all that I've got to seal the lid. If you don't seal the lid, it's gonna take forever for the water to boil. So that'll just sit there. I've got no idea where the lid is for this pot, but that's not gonna take too long now. That fire is pumping underneath. A lot of heat being generated. And you can see, like I said, it's quite windy. But those flames, they're not getting pushed this way. They're actually like circling in that hole and it's just, it's just gonna make this thing boil so quick. So we'll give this a couple of minutes, come back, we'll dump those beautiful crabs in. Those crabs are on ice in the esky right now. So, oh, we're gonna be eating good, Mac-10. That's not gonna take too long at all. Ah, how good is this, eh? All right, doggies, welcome to the field day kitchen. It is all happening out here right now. We've got an onion, garlic, a little bit of flavour down here. I've just sharpened up this knife. It is ridiculously sharp. We're going to slice through that onion. Actually, actually, before we do anything, I'll show you what we've done. We're going to have to get a frying pan on the fire as well. So what we've done down here is we've got our initial fire where the water's boiling. We've got this little frying pan. We're just going to bang that on those star pickets there like that. Down here, we're going to make a really good sauce. So this is where we're going to cook our dipping sauce. In there, we're going to boil our crabs. Before that gets too hot, we're going to cut, cut up a couple of essential ingredients. Ingredients. This is all going to soften up into this hectic dipping sauce we're going to make. I just seen a little bit of steam coming out of the side of this pot here. Look at that. That is proper, proper boiling water. That didn't take long at all, eh? All right, we're going to chuck that back on. We've got to get a couple of crabs, dump the crabs into there. They're not going to take too long at all. We'll keep, keep going with this sauce. I can't even speak, I'm that hungry. I'm frothing, eh? Ow! This one's, a, this one's good, look at that. Big claws, they're going to be full of meat. Two beautiful ones here. These are those medium sized ones which we'll get, and here's a good crab. That's still a very good crab. Another beautiful one down here. They've all been put on ice for a couple of hours, so they're completely out cold. We're gonna dump them into this boiling water right now. Let's start with this big boy here. Let's go, Mac 10, straight to the boiling water. Look at that thing. Oh, that's one. That's two. Lucky number three. Going in the pot. Oh man. Look at that, they three crabs fit perfectly in there. 
All right, so what we do now is we wait 10 minutes or we wait for that water to really start bubbling up again. And then we're gonna start a 10 minute timer. Once that 10 minute timer's up, the crabs should be cooked really, really well. 10 minutes, I'll wait for the water to boil. Then we'll start a 10 minute timer. We'll keep doing this up here. All right, so here we are making the secret field day sauce. And um, it isn't really a secret. The way that make, you make this sauce is just whatever you've got laying in the car, you just dump into a pot. We've got a whole entire clove of garlic here, one small onion, a little bit of coconut milk, salt, pepper, mixed herbs, cumin, smoked paprika, a little bit of oil, and curry powder. We're just gonna mix all of that together in this pot, let it simmer down, and that's gonna be our dipping sauce. So instead of doing like chili crab where you put it in a wok and you mix it all together, we've got really nice bits of crab meat, then we're gonna dip that crab meat into this sauce and then chew on it. That is my favorite way to eat this crab, man. So that's what we're doing. We're just dicing up a whole entire garlic right here. Crabs have got exactly six minutes to go. Down here we're browning our onion and garlic on this tiny, this cute little fire that I made on the side. Man, this, I say this in every video, but I, I actually mean it. This is what life is for. Like this is why we were designed to come out here, catch your own food, cook your own food on a fire. This is what, this is why we're meant, meant to be alive. This is the best thing ever. My doggies, it is time to feast. Have a look at this tray right now. It is full. Look at the size of these claws. Big crab claws. This is, we're, we're in for a feast right now. This is gonna taste real good. We're gonna start off with my favorite part, the big juicy lollipops. Let's see if we can bust this thing open. Oh, oh, it's juicy. Come on, come out like a lollipop. Yes, that's a lollipop if I've ever seen one. That's what I'm talking about, the lollipop. The lollipop goes straight into the dipping sauce. Give that thing a good drowning in there. Here we go, ready? Look at this. This is my favorite thing. Look at that, look at this. Oh, Mac Dem. Oh my God. You've got to do this one day. You've got to get outside, get a crab and do this. Look at that. Oh man. That is so good. Let's pop open one more claw, ready? Here we go. Oh, this is a hard one. Sometimes the hard ones are better. Come on, lollipop. Come on, lollipop. Yeah, that is a lollipop again. Oh, these are cooked to perfection. That is a lollipop right there. Lollipop, dipping sauce, straight in the dipping sauce. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> uh, are you drooling behind the camera? <laughs> yeah. If I was you, I would have put that camera down a long time ago. Look at this. Hubba bubba, baby. Give it to me. <laughs> oh. You don't understand the flavor. The dipping sauce, the fresh crab, caught by hand only a couple of hours ago. Oh my God. It is really, Really bloody good. All right, doggies, you guys need to do me a favor. You gotta get off the couch, you gotta go outside, either walk in the bush, sleep in a tent, catch crabs and cook them on a fire, cook sausages on a fire. Just get outside and do this kind of thing because I'm telling you right now, it's good for the heart, it's good for the brain, and sometimes it's even good for your little guts. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna let Mac 10 put that camera down now. She's gonna join me. We're gonna destroy these three crabs. We got one on the pot over there and um, days like today is why we're born. What a bloody good day. Much love doggies, I'll see you in the next video. Woo! All right, on a scale of one to 10, how hungry are you right now? 12. Ah, 12. <laughs> All right, this is for the camera girl. Let's pop this thing open. Oh it yeah. It'll be good. It'll be good, it's heavy. It's real heavy. Here we go, ready? Pull that bit away. 
Oh, you've got a lollipop coming here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, lollipop stayed in! No! All right, well, your lollipop didn't work out, but there is a massive chunk of crab meat. Wrap your lips around that, young lady. So good, eh? Is that hell good? Oh, hell good. <laughs> look at that chunk of meat, man. That's huge. Is oh, it a good one? It's a good one. Oh, look at the meat there. You know what to do. Dip it, dunk it, eat it, and then we're going to get the lollipop out. <laughs> so good, eh? I'm so hungry. I know. We've had a big day today. This is that good, eh? Look at these claws, man. They're going to... Oh, I'm ready for that, lollipop. That fill up. <laughs> oh, let's go, army. Let's go, lollipop time.